This video is sponsored by Blinkist. Dun dun! Okay, let's see what this is. Dear California resident. Haha, <laughs> fucking bitch! Guess what you're doing at 7 a.m. six weeks from now? Oh, Alex, can I solve the puzzle? Um, what is mixing up game shows? Getting your lazy taint out of bed and coming down to the courthouse where we're gonna have more fun than R. Kelly with a full bladder. It's a weird letter. But wait, there's more. We might not need you to come in, so what you're gonna do, like the puppet you are, is call this number the day before you're scheduled to come in, and we'll let you know if we need you or not. Does that sound just peachy to you? Sincerely, Gavin Newsom. Dun dun! called like why you know you're gonna be selected like you thought you might be lucky enough to be one of the people that isn't called <laughs> just look at your stupid face like guys guys come here come here look at this guy <laughs> but yeah you have to come in dun, dun. All right, let's get this started. I'm gonna need the following people to come up and have a seat over here. Oh, don't be me, don't be Zach, me. Zach, get don't. your fucking ass up here. You know you're getting picked. Okay. Okay, and then we're gonna need 13 others. Okay, let's get to the questions. Starting with potential juror number one. What is your name? Hi there. I'm, uh, do you want like our full name? Full name. Middle name too? Oh, this is gonna be the longest day of my fucking life. You don't have to say your middle name. Oh, well, I'm Kurt Kurtson. And Kurt, what do you do for work? Depends on the day. Are you fucking kidding me? Like, what's your job title? It's more of a table of contents. Can you just say any occupation right now? Now, this young man over here is being charged with jaywalking. <gasps> is this a jaywalking case? So is there anything about the charge itself that would affect your ability to be impartial if selected to serve on the jury? I remember it like it was yesterday. I'll give you a thousand dollars to not tell this story. It was November 7th, 2023. That was literally yesterday. I was just driving down the road when all of a sudden I hit this jaywalker. Wait, what? I stopped the car. I see him bleeding out all over the road and I just drove away. Is anyone gonna like do anything about this? It haunts me to this day. There's a chance he's still alive. Okay, well let's move on to the next question. Now, the felony jaywalking <gasps> occurred at the corner of uh and <laughs> street. If selected to be on the jury, can you promise not to go to that location or drive by it to gather any outside information or anything like that? Well, fuck you. It's close to my house. Then move to Mars. So it could be tough. I'm gonna need a verbal yes that you will not go to that location if selected to be on the jury. I can try. I need a verbal yes that you will not go to that location if selected to be on the jury. I'll try. Were you dropped on your head as an adult? All right, we're gonna move on. Oh, thank fucking God. To potential juror number two. What is your name? Well, it's kind of weird. No. Because I just got married. It's all of you. So I'm in the process of rearranging my name right now. Rearranging? And what's your occupation? I make shoes for cats. Oh, unless it's Tuesday. Where do you find these people? Dun dun. Well, thank you so much, potential juror number 11, and I'm so sorry to hear about your goldfish. All right, so now moving on to potential juror number 12. Are you ready? Fuck yes. What is your name? Zach Black. What's your job? Tuna salesman. Can you be impartial? Does R. Kelly piss in hot tubs? Okay, well, looks like I got all the information that I needed, but now I want to turn it over to the lawyers who are going to ask you guys some questions as well. The lawyers still have questions? Thank you, Your Honor. Okay, starting with potential juror number one. Yes. What's the punishment if you show up to jury duty and then just run out of the room? You go to jail. But for like how long? Have you watched any crime shows before? I mean, kind of. 
Cause like, today's not the purge, is it? My roommate watches Law & Order, but I don't really pay attention cause I don't believe in order. Hey guys, can we like get to the point? Mas rapido, por favor. Oh, you mean like they do on Blinkist? No. Oh yeah, cause Blinkist is that platform that allows you to understand the most important things from over 6,500 nonfiction books and podcasts in just 15 minutes. There's no way there's an ad in the jury selection. Yes! Process. Like I'm reading this book called Thinking Fast and Slow. And this is on the slow. And on Blinkist, they covered all the important subjects. They included examples from the book. And I was able to go through it all within 30 minutes. That's amazing. It showed me connections between economics, psychology, and statistics. And it let me know whether I'd be interested in reading the book in full or if it wasn't for me. We're still going. They also have Blinkist Spaces. Oh, I heard about that. Yeah, it's this feature that allows you to create a space with friends or family, and you can do this for different people or for a given topic like history or business. So break free from doom scrolling and realize your full potential with this app. Get a special discount of 60% off the Blinkist annual premium, valid only until November 21st, and start your seven day free trial by clicking the link in the description box. All right, well that was fun. Now let's bring this video home with, hey judge, why are we here for a jaywalking case? You don't think he should be punished? Not with whatever this is. What if I told you that by jaywalking, I mean he walked out in front of other cars when it wasn't his turn and then didn't put in any effort to walk faster so the cars could go. Death penalty. That is correct.